My name is Bill Stonebreaker. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you California artist Graciela Plasic. I try to paint every day in the mornings. I'm raising a family, so one day the family comes back in the afternoon and I put my um, brush away. But if I look at the paint all day, I love it. Colombia. I'm from Colombia, South America. I was raised in Spain. I was born in Spain. But I will say I will say I'm Colombian because my family is Colombian and they were just there for a year. That's where I went to the art school and I studied architecture at the University of San Juan. Since I was very little, I always was painting and drawing and my at school. Actually I got in trouble for doing too much painting and not too much study. I'm an architect by training. And that was a great thing to have because I would have the two worlds, you know, designing a building also having the art uh, background and helping me to focus on the classes that I wanted to take that lead me more in towards a beautiful um, blueprint. You know, I was more uh, drawn to showing the perspective of the uh, building, you know, showing those parts. So I, I was always drawn to those kind of well, how do you decide which colors you're going to you're going to use in the painting? I think artists go through stages, you know. I'm in the blue period or the pink period or purple period. I'm in the blue period right now in the aquamarines um, because I like the lighting and the, the strength of light. I, I try to enhance the color that matches that light on that subject to bring it alive. Well, now that the uh, America's Cup was here, I had, uh, I was uh, dreaming to paint every single boat possible that was in the competition. So my collection has, I think the only paintings I have seen of those boats because uh, they were right here in my backyard. Every day I could see them practicing in the San Francisco Bay because I had knowledge of the architecture background and also knowledge of the technique of painting. Uh, many techniques also, fresco, uh, watercolors, but my passion is oil painting and that's my collection now, uh, oil painting. I have all, all, usually have three paintings going on because oil has to dry. So you wait two days on that one and then you pick up the other one. I pencil the, the sketch and then I just go for it. And usually, um, since it's oil, you start really dark and then you start, and then at the end, all the light comes back to it, so you never know. When people are looking at you, they just see black stuff or very blotchy things, and they, they don't understand what is going to happen. But I know already how it's going to end. I always know the end result. I have a, I have kind of a 3D uh, brain that I, I can see everything already before it's done. Uh, there's not, nothing simple about it, but at the same moment when you see it, it looks very simple because I want people to just be drawn to it and feel comfortable with it and not be shocked. It's just feeling peace when you see a painting and want to bring that, that kind of thing. But if you challenge me, I can do the other thing. I can do the opposite. Um, so it depends on the moment. Uh, I have a couple of uh, abstracts that I will show you later on that were very uh, uh, shocking. <laughs> Completely the opposite of what I usually do.